Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how much does it cost to fly to space with Blue Origin. Let's get right into it. A new Shepard vehicle launched from Blue Origin's Launch Site 1 in West Texas on March 31st at 9.58am, carrying a crew of six to suborbital space. Those people returned to Earth about 10 minutes later, their capsule raising a plume of dust as it touched down in the desert. Because it was the 20th spaceflight of a New Shepard vehicle, their mission was called NS-20. However, it was only the fourth crewed Blue Origin flight and the first without a celebrity passenger. On July 20th, 2021, the first crewed New Shepard mission took Blue Origin founder and CEO Jeff Bezos, aviation pioneer Wally Funk and two others to the final frontier. In October 2021, the company's second crewed flight was headlined by Star Trek actor William Shatner. The third, which launched in December, was joined by NFL Hall of Famer and Good Morning America host Michael Strahan. The NS20 was supposed to continue this trend, with Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson initially agreeing to fly it. Davidson, however, backed out after the mission was postponed from March 23rd to March 29th for unspecified reasons. Gary Lai, the chief architect of the New Shepard system, took Davidson's seat. With all of this news, People are wondering how much it will cost to fly to space with the company. Simply put, neither the company nor the celebrities who have already flown with the company will say. Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos said in July 2021, following his own spaceflight, that he and his colleagues didn't know quite yet when the company would publicly reveal the price of a ticket to space. He added, Right now we're doing really well with private sales. However, information from 2018 may provide insight into Blue Origin's current pricing strategy. It has been revealed that Blue Origin ticket sales are available for as little as $28 million. Presumably, not all Blue Origin tickets cost the $28 million that won a charity auction in June 2021. Because the winning bidder had to reschedule their flight, their seat was given to Dutch teenager Oliver Damon, whose father, a private equity executive, placed the next highest bid. According to GeekWire, Blue Origin CEO Bob Smith stated in July, We think we had 7,500 people in the auction from over 150 countries. In general, there's a lot of interest, he continued. So the real question is, what is the price point? Our early flights are extremely affordable. As you can see, there was a lot of interest during the auction. We had people in their 20s, $20 million, who were all very interested. Obviously, the auction skewed some of that. In July 2018, two Blue Origin employees spoke to Reuters anonymously. Blue Origin planned to charge customers between $200,000 and $300,000, according to one of those employees, with first-hand knowledge of the pricing plan. The second employee confirmed those figures, saying the tickets would cost at least $200,000 each. If this is the case, Blue Origin's spacefarers would be comparable to those offered by rival company Virgin Galactic. According to Slate, the Richard Branson company was offering $250,000 ticket reservations before a test crash grounded the spaceflight program in 2014. Now that the program is up and running, with Branson and others flying into space in July 2021, analysts predict that Virgin Galactic tickets will cost between $300,000 and $400,000. However, this is only true if you are not a celebrity. On November 23rd of last year, host Michael Strahan, a former NFL star who played for the New York Giants, announced that he would join a Blue Origin spaceflight on December 9th. Following William Shatner's spaceflight, he was the latest celebrity to venture into the great beyond. According to CNN, Strahan and Laura Shepard Churchley, daughter of NASA pioneer Alan Shepard, and another flight passenger, are honorary guests who have not paid for their tickets. I believe this is the way to be innovative, creative pioneers in aviation and now space travel, Strahan said. And it's going to take a while, he continued. But I do believe it will bring a lot of technological breakthroughs and innovations to us on Earth and I just want to be a part of it. Other private space companies such as Virgin Galactic and SpaceX intend to sell seats on their vessels. The space tourism industry has seen ups and downs since 2001 when businessman Dennis Tito became the first person to pay for a trip to space. Only a few people have been able to pay their way into space so far. Even NSYNC's Lance Bass couldn't raise the $20 million required to fly with a Russian space crew in 2002. Now the world's wealthiest individuals appear dead set on making regular private space flights a reality. Civilians wishing to visit the cosmos will need to be well connected or have hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars to spare in the near future. However, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin only provide suborbital flights. You'll probably have to pay tens of millions of dollars if you want to spend more than a few minutes in space. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.